Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus of Nazareth is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people exalt their voices and say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 31st in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, do you feel saved this morning? Do you experience the salvation of your soul? Are you walking in the victory of Jesus this day? Well, friends, I trust you are. And if you are, then you are hungry for a word from the Lord. So let's go to our Bibles, Isaiah chapter 12, and we're going to look at the entire chapter, which is only six verses. So let's begin at verse 1, which says, Now in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Thou wast angry with me. Thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me. Do you remember when God was angry with you? Don't fall into the lie that God is a God of love, therefore nothing pours out of him but what is love. The Bible tells us in Psalm chapter 7, verse 11, that God judges the righteous, and he is angry with the wicked every day. So there was a time for you and I when God was angry with us because we shook our fist in his face in rebellion, we could feel the spirit of the Lord speaking within us, trying to get us to convert our souls back to God, to surrender and live for God. But in our defiance and rebellion, we said no. But then there came a day, hallelujah, there came a day when the anger of the Lord was turned away, and now he comforts us. Behold, God is my salvation, verse 2. Now that word salvation there, interestingly in the Hebrew, is Yeshua. And Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus. If you'll recall in Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, the angel is speaking and says, that she shall bring forth a son. He's telling Joseph that Mary shall bring forth a son. And you will call his name Jesus, or in Hebrew, Yeshua, or salvation. For he shall save his people from their sins. And thank God for that. Well, again, in Isaiah 12, verse 2, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust, and I will not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength, and he is my song. Is your heart singing a song unto the Lord even now? A song of praise, adoration, and worship? He is my song. He also is become my salvation. He is my redemption. He is my salvation. He is my freedom, my victory, my liberty. Therefore, with joy, do you feel that joy this morning, friends? Are you experiencing the joy, the Spirit of God alive within you, trying to break out of these bodies of clay and lift spiritual hands in adoration and worship to the great and mighty God that we serve? Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Do you recall in John chapter 7, verse 38, Jesus said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, friends, I'd be lying to you if I told you there were not days that I just wanted to go back to bed. And I'm sure that you experienced those times as well. But it's in times as those that, like the old water pump out in the yard that you had to pump up and down, many times before the water finally came gushing forth, so it is with our souls. On those days, the best thing that we can do, which is the most uncomfortable thing that we can do, the most unnatural thing that we can do, and sometimes the most unwanted thing that we can do, 
We have to prompt that O well and prime it and, and sing praises to God, think on the things of God, and the wells of water will gush forth from us and we will experience nothing but true and living joy. And that's what he says here in verse 3. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. They run deep. They're within you. But sometimes you must prime them to get them gushing forth. And in that day shall you say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Forget about the politics of earth. Forget about the latest sporting event. Forget about what is on headline news. In that day, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, and make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. Oh, hallelujah, friends. Isn't that so true? You know, when we look back on our lives so many times, we can't help but to look back with regret because human nature causes us to focus on the failures. But we are being told here to focus upon the successes, the great and excellent things that God has done in us, that he has done for us, and that he has done in the world around us. Great, mighty, victorious is his name and so worthy of adoration and praise. And look at this. This is known in all the earth. It doesn't matter what country you're from. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. It doesn't matter if we're talking about a tribe lost in the rainforest. It says the whole earth knows this. So cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, you, me, if we've been washed in the blood of Jesus, if we trust him for our salvation, if we are his loyal, obedient, surrendered followers, we are inhabitants of Zion, friends. So cry out and shout his praises, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. He is doing great things for you. You may not know it. You may not realize it. You may be in the middle of a dark cloud. But there is a silver lining to that cloud. And God is at work in your life, even now in these moments, doing great and wonderful things on your behalf. Oh, hallelujah, friends. He is so worthy of your adoration and praise. Lift your hands today. Sing a song from your heart and walk in victory for the great things that your God has done for you. Now, as he wills and until tomorrow, May you walk in his eternal blessing. Now, until we meet again, I love you, friends. Have a blessed day in Jesus. I'll see you on the next video.